Hello, this is Iris Fay, and I welcome you to another video. We are going to be discussing how to naturally overcome and deal with hard times. We all go through a hard time in our life, whether it be someone passing away that is close to us, or bullying, or financial worries, or any of the other myriad of issues that can happen that can make us very emotional and very, make us very depressed. So we will be discussing how we can overcome this and how, how long it, you expect to take trying to overcome this. So when you're dealing with a hard time, a lot of times you just wish for my, your life to be better. It's like, oh, my life sucks. I wish it was better. I wish it was better. I wish it was better. And that is number one, because of your perspective, you're saying that your life sucks. Thus, it's going to suck. <laughs> However your life is going now, if you continue to have that same frame of mind, you will continue to attract that negativity to you. And furthermore, if you keep saying, I wish, I wish, then there is no wish. You know, you can either make it happen or you can have it be a fantasy by wishing for it. So that is, that is number one, to reword how you say these things. So instead of focusing on so the, the things that are troubling you so much, focus more on how you can get to be where you want to be. You have to know where you want to be. If you're having financial troubles, what is your end goal? Where, where do you want to be financially? You have to envision that. You have to understand that. You have to know where you want to be. What is your goal? When you have that goal in mind, then how do you achieve that goal? How do you make the steps to get there? How do you get there? You're here, but you want to get here. How do you get there? No one else can come up with that answer except for you. You're the only one who can come up with the answer of how to get from here to here. So what you have to do then is you have to be mindful. You have to think, you have to concentrate, you have to let go of that ego self of you being so down, being so negative, being saying, I can't. You have to let that go and realize how can I do this? I will do this. I am making the steps to be able to do this. And with enough time, you will be able to pinpoint all those different steps needed to get to where you want to be. And then it takes time to do that. It takes a lot of time to do that. Depending on just how serious your situation is, maybe you're feeling so depressed and you need to climb up this, this ladder to be happy again. You can't just go from the bottom to the top. You have to climb up there. So that is another thing. When you're feeling down, when you're feeling depressed, you have to sit with it for a little bit to understand it. When you sit with it and understand it, that is the only time you can begin to make the steps to get to where your goal is. So number one, you, when you're having a hard time, you want to sit with it for a little bit. You want to feel it, whatever the emotions you're having is, whatever the bad time you're, you're experiencing is, you want to understand it better. You don't want to avoid it. You want to think about it. You want to focus on it. And you want to observe it from as if someone else was absor observing it. So when you observe it, you figure out what you want to do. Then you have that goal in mind then you sit with that for a bit and you change your perspective of how can I get to that goal? Then you make the steps necessary to get to that goal. So if you're depressed and you want to be happy, you got to climb up that ladder. It takes a bit. <laughs> I do have a video dedicated to that about the emotional staircase that allows you going from the very bottom to the top that may be able to help you in this area. So I will be sure to include that in the video. So please be sure to check that out if that may be able to help. 
So also another thing to consider is the time frame. Going from here to here is going to vary depending on many circumstances. So if you're expecting a week's time, a month's time, even a year's time for things to be where you want it to be, you're setting your expectations way too high. Instead, don't have any expectations. Just allow whatever comes naturally to you. If, so, if, if going from here to here takes a year, but going from here to here takes only a year as well, then that is major progress. But you can't say going from here to here and plan that in a whole year. You can plan these steps and these goals, but however long they take to actually, you can actually accomplish them is a whole different story. So you can't actually set a time frame or duration of how long this is going to take. Because you have to take things at your own pace. Because when you're dealing with all these negative emotions, especially when you're right down here in this area, reaction is very, very slow. So it will take you a while before you get out of that negative mind frame, before you actually start to excel yourself up. It's like driving a car when you're stopped. When you start to go, it's very slow. And then, then you go faster and faster. And, and, and then when you're, when you're fast, you're just cruising along. So that may be able to help you as well. So dealing with a hard time, we all do it. We all go through it. I've dealt with plenty of hard times. And my personal experience has been just as what I described to you. You understand it. You set the goal. You make the steps to get to the goal. You observe it as if from a third person is observing you and realize like, how can I do this? How can I overcome this? And the answers will all come to you. Once you have those answers, then you can make the steps to be able to get there. Okay? So I hope this information was helpful to you. If you have any other input, I would love to hear it. Please leave a comment and let me know how you have overcome hard times. Overcoming hard times makes you a strong person. So whatever you go through, whatever you deal with, know that you are a strong person. It takes a strong person to be down here and climb up to here. Even if you're down here, you're still a strong person no matter what. So just, just keep working on yourself and just keep being you. And that is all you can do in this world. So I thank you very much for watching and for absorbing all this information. I hope it was helpful to you. Okay. So you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Okay. Bye-bye.